Change of perspective tonight from New York Mayor Adams after insisting the New York City subways are safe. Today he acknowledged that passengers, and he included himself, are worried about crime underground. This after a young woman was pushed to her death. 61-year-old Simon Marshall now undergoing a psychiatric evaluation after he was charged with murder. Cops say he is homeless and has a history of mental illness. The victim, 40-year-old Michelle Go, waiting at the Times Square station Saturday morning when she was shoved in front of an approaching train. Right now, a vigil in Times Square for Ms. Go, who ironically had volunteered her free time to help the homeless. I would assume reporter NJ Burkett live at the vigil for us. NJ. Yeah, that's right, Bill. The vigil here in Times Square just getting underway now in the bitter wind chills. I'd say just over 300 people here uh, mourning Michelle Go, mourning her, her, and, and, and her memory honoring her memory and demanding justice. And as you said, there was the mayor's sudden shift today from sympathy to empathy when it comes to safety in the subway. Many riders say they no longer feel safe taking the New York City transit system. Tonight, Mayor Adams admits they have a point. They don't feel that way now. I don't feel that way when I take the train every day or when I'm moving throughout our transportation system. The that mayor's stunning bad. confession that, that even he does not feel safe using his own city's public transit comes just three days after Michelle Goh was killed in Times Square, shoved into the path of a 40-ton subway train at 9.30 in the morning on Saturday. 61-year-old Simon Marshall confessed shortly after his arrest while proclaiming himself God. Investigators say he is homeless and emotionally disturbed with several prior arrests. But in the hours after the crime, Mayor Adams insisted the subways were safe and declared the problem was mostly one of public perception. And when you have an incident like this, the perception is what we're fighting against. This is a safe system. The mayor's about face on subway safety was welcome news to the man who runs the transit system. Agency officials spent much of last year pleading for more police patrols. I think Mayor Adams is showing that he gets it. He gets how New Yorkers are feeling. But outreach workers say policing won't solve the problem. In fact, officers were at the opposite end of the very same platform when Michelle Goh was pushed. This is a consequence of the failure to invest in the social safety net. Jacqueline Simone is with the Coalition for the Homeless. So if we're providing people access to a range of shelter options that meet their needs, more people will come off the streets. That's something that could happen relatively quickly, as well as investments in inpatient and outpatient mental health care. And back now, the live picture here in Times Square. I'd say just over 300 people, as I mentioned before, uh, out here in the bitter wind chills, uh, mourning Michelle Go. You know, the organizer of the vigil told me uh, this week that justice for Ms. Go must include not just policing solutions, but lasting solutions uh, when it comes to the care of the mentally ill. He said the city can do better, the city must do better, and to do that in the memory of Michelle Go. We're live.